Black Kite changed the plan. They decided to go deeper on Greenstorm. Yeah, they agreed to share their intel. It's a good plan. We're all adults. This is a strategic decision we made together. You don't. We're putting together the paperwork right now to round up the group and get you some scalps. This is always a finite operation. It's not a lifestyle. All right, just start working on your exit plan. You need to get your head back in the game. But remember, the long game's getting in a green storm. Oh, come on, you've never been close to flipping anyone near a green storm. No, wrong. I let myself get angry. Okay? Besides, there's good news that Karen's report failed to mention. Ava's moving in with me. Oh well, yeah, because we get to split the housework. <laughs> it's got to look like a real relationship, right? I got this all under control. I promise. Called Greenstorm. Come on, man. No introduction, me. <laughs> Jordan, how are you? You said you thought we might need some help. Yep, some help and some guidance. Let's hear it. Okay. Um, well, Prosper and Sovereign Pipeline, as you know means to supply the Midwest with gas at a rate of 500 pounds per square inch, right? It's this high-pressure highway of natural gas screaming through our communities, and it's nearly finished. And we know they're getting worried because they're sending spies into our group. We know this. But they're winning. So I've been trying to think of a solution. Uh, this. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you look right here, Okay, this is a major section of the pipeline that's yet to be started. And what makes this area unique and why it's yet to be developed is that access to it's tricky, okay? There are only uh, two roads that can support the construction traffic, and they're both fed into this highway here, all right? This is Highway 75, and that highway crosses that bridge right there. That's the Salisbury Bridge. It spans the Sally River to the tune of 2,000 square feet. So, we shut that bridge down, and they would have to reroute all of this construction traffic all the way around to this bridge up here, okay? This would set them back months. I mean, this would be a huge blow financially. It's nice work. Thanks. You want to put this all on your own? Uh, well, me and Ava. And, of course, Eric here pointed out that we are a little short on that. I said it would only work if we had an organization behind it. Well, I've done stuff like this, but it's never fun. We tried to shut down construction in Sandusfield. We suspended ourselves over the highway for two days. The state cops actually lit a fire under me. They like to burn witches in Massachusetts. <laughs> I, I remember watching that trial on TV. When you poured that glass of water over that CEO's head, it was a big deal. Yeah, the theatrics play well on the news. Well, we're looking for a little more theatrics. We are looking to do real damage to Boston. Sure, but how long do you think you can hold the bridge? Well, Half the cops now are ex-forces. They treat this stuff like it's Fallujah. You ever done anything like this before? How serious are you? Okay, Reed. I said I vouch for the guy, and I meant it. Yeah, and I do too. I'm sure you do, sweetie. You can tell by that look in your eye. Okay, Reed. Let's just. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some fresh air. You sure you're not putting on a show to impress the pretty young activist? Yeah, give me a David. Yeah, excuse me, sir. He's a good guy. Hey, how long have you known him? Long enough. I know what she sees in him, but you? Look, he's serious, he's loyal, 
and he's not afraid of action. Honestly, sometimes it kind of scares me. He nearly killed Peter. I hate Peter. Okay, well, there you go. All right, so you're gonna help us or not? Hmm? I'll take you to meet the others at Convergence. Fantastic. They'll hear you out. But let's talk about the details outside. Close this. Let's see. Yeah. Hey, Hey, this. Jesus, your fucking cat. Are okay, this is your crusade, but I'm trying to make a living. When this goes down, Riordan will be out for revenge, and she knows it. And she looks at you just like she can see right in your soul. Yeah. Okay. You want to uh, you know, run it one more time? Sure. Right, let's do it. <clears throat> yes. I don't get it. How long are you closing the bridge for? Well, I reckon we can close the bridge for about a week. You know, we get some hanging tents on the suspension. We were talking about getting a truck up there, maybe turning it over, flipping it. I don't see how you think you're gonna hold it that long. I was in Portland for the icebreaker and they got through after two days. That was different though. They were going under the bridge. Two days a week. It still doesn't move the needle. Damn, you're coming at me, man. Yeah, man. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. Well, look, do I think a week's gonna change the world? No. I don't, but we have to do something. And if I can make the bridge disappear, then I would. It doesn't need to disappear, it just needs to stop being a bridge. And this is where Riordan will say, fortune favors the bold. Fortune favors the bold. Well, I do have a plan B. Go on. The bridge has four main support foundations, right? Now, if we attach explosives to one of those pillars, just one, we take that whole bridge down. My bridge over the river Kwai, right? And we can do it at night, so nobody gets hurt, you know? We just don't know where we can find that amount of explosives. They would call us terrorists. Well, they already do, right? The history of America, bomb making is how you teach truth to power, right? You want to stop the pipeline, right? And this is where I'll, I'll look at everybody. So... Let's stop the pipeline. Let's scare them. Okay, because Prosperance projects are going to poison our communities for generations to come. They're already hanging them out to dry. Right? Saginaw, Midland, Flushing, Flint, you name stop it. Stop talking. You have them with the America and bombs bit. Just keep quiet. No matter how much you want to talk, people hate silence. Let them fill it. And then you and I will toast each other with some tofu dogs. I'm a method. I can't break character like that. <laughs> Plus, they can smell it on you. That girl of yours, Evie, she tasted it. Uh, Nick's Avery. What hell of a work of the job. Get off my book. So sweet. You get to do the thing.
the way Prosper does it, they have two major insurance providers because they can't work on any of their build sites if they don't have insurance. Uh, but you can look that all up on their private page, download the numbers on who to follow up with. It's going to be another right right here. Yeah, it's about people. Find out who the top decision makers are in each office, get on their social. Keep on them until they have to act. Yeah, but how far do we go? You know? Uh, did, you guys, did you guys hear about the Diablo folk, what they did? They bought a subscription to a firearms magazine for one of the shareholders, but it was under his kid's name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it worked, because I think he resigned like a week later. All right, let's keep it classy, guys. These people are looking for any excuse they can find to make us the bad guys. Let's not paint a target on our backs. We hear you, David. Uh, yeah, and it's a right up here again. There's some other ops coming up. We have a couple of acetylene torches that get hot enough to cut steel. The valve sites are where the pipe is exposed. If you're fast on your feet, you can hit and run. It can set them back weeks. Yeah, we used to use gasoline and motor oil on the valve sites, but I guess torches would be more effective. Uh, one more right, right here. Yeah, and then I think it's just up here on the right. You can just pull over wherever. Anywhere here? Yeah. Anywhere you can find a spot. Do they know we're coming? Uh, yeah. Alright. <clears throat> All right. Right. Everybody out. Hey, what's the, um, what's the deal with Abe and Peter? Hmm. You know, I, I asked him not to come to that party. Oh, yeah? Then what's going on? Tell me. <coughs> Christ, David. Oh, you look uncomfortable. Yeah, I am uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm a look. This is not my place. If you want to know about this, you need to speak to Ava. I'm speaking to you. <laughs> Tell me. I should have done better. Okay. What happened? Peter was our missing stare. And everybody else knew, but I was slow to catch on. He liked to um, give girls drugs. He'd make videos sometimes. He said it was consensual. <laughs> but sometimes the girls would wake up and they didn't know what had happened. Fuck. Fuck, Eric. By the time I found out, it was old news, you know? And I told myself, it's just the scene. There's lots of drugs and sex going on. And, you know, Ava was attracted to Peter. Peter knew who all the bands were. Ava wanted to make a name for herself. She was very impressed by him, okay? So how old, how old was Ava? She said she was 18, but she wasn't. <laughs> so Ava accused Peter, and everybody took sides, and I told myself that I needed to be impartial, mm -hmm. and I let her down. Yeah, you didn't protect her? Huh? What was I supposed to do, David? Call the police? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are already looking for any excuse to take us down. I couldn't do that. I didn't even have any facts. I just... I told myself it was a private matter between two people. Mm -hmm. It was a one-off, and I just didn't want to see a pattern there. Now, Peter is trying to be a good man. Yeah, and you, I mean. What about me? Well, he's still out there walking the street, so I'm not so sure. But I mean, how are you gonna make this right? I don't think I can make this right, David. Not now. Well, brother, 
never too late. You know? I gotta smoke. Uh, no, 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 not in here. Gotta smoke up on the roof. I'll go with you. My landlord's got rules about smoking. Great. What Peter did was wrong, and he belongs in prison, okay? <laughs> okay, but what if Peter still has those tapes, Ava? No, nobody's pressing charges, and I'm not getting arrested, okay? I was protecting you. You didn't open it. <laughs> open it. Open it. Yeah, it's, it's Valentine's and uh, I thought it'd be fun for us to start living together. Or at least for you to feel comfortable to call my place your home. to be okay you deserve everything in this in this world Ava you know and you, and you deserve sesame tofu and Singapore noodles if you want to come by for dinner tonight yeah She's just a kid from Detroit. Yeah. Snow White is in the cottage. Why do pigeons always fly upside down over Detroit? Because there's nothing worth crapping on. <laughs> Do what? And make sure that it's true. I smile because I like them, and I laugh because they're funny. No, it's real. Have you slept with anyone? Don't. 